Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. My name is Andy. Today I'm in New Mexico in the Gila Wilderness Area. Matter of fact, I'm in three different wilderness areas. It's going to be the Gila, the Apache, and the Blue Range Primitive located in Arizona. I'm in the southwest portion of New Mexico on the state border between New Mexico and Arizona. I'm in a park called Pueblo Park. I'm going to be taking out of the park here at the trailhead, heading south to Bear Canyon where I'll set up a base camp. The weather's beautiful today. It's in the mid 60s. Uh, this morning when I got up, it was freezing. I'm expecting very chilly temperatures in the evening, but I got my gear and I'm ready to go. I'm prepping my gear and uh, getting my uh, GPS satellite communicator, my InReach Delorme set up right now, and I'm gonna be heading out here in a few minutes. So I hope you follow along on my trip. We're heading out on the trail from the Pueblo Park Trailhead. Come across a skull. Looks like possibly some uh, cattle. Continuing on the trail, and uh, down there is the uh, Pueblo Pueblo uh, River there, and you can see it's uh, dry. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Continuing on the trail, I'm going to be heading to a area known as Rock Canyon. You can see here that I'm getting a little more water flow uh, down the uh, stream here because I'm heading down into the uh, canyon area, further down that is. I'm in a canyon area right now. Well, I'm on my first break and uh, there's this little creek here running next to the trail. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my... Uh, water filtration system here and uh, filter some water and then I'll be back on the trail. This area is an open range and as you can see I've just come across a uh, cow here. Number two, six, two. Well, I'm over here at the fork of the trail and I'm gonna be heading on the uh, WS Mountain Trail, which is that way. All right, heading up to a uh, little hill here. And I think this is going to be my base camp. Yep, I'm just going to set up over here. Day one, night one. It's my base camp. I have it uh, up on a little hill. I came from the uh, valley down there. I want to get a little high ground. I got my tent set up, my gear in the tent. And uh, I set up a little area here for eating my chow and uh, having a fire. What I did is I uh, put these rocks together here to reflect some heat back. It's gonna be a cold night. Over here, I uh, hung my food. I've been seeing some uh, bear tracks around and uh, make sure I get my food hung. 
Got a nice tree there and uh, should work out for me. I just came down from my base camp to filter some water so I can have some chow tonight and I can have some fresh water in the morning. Just started my uh, campfire for tonight. It is getting cold. And as you can see there, I am also preparing my dinner. I went ahead and uh, made like a little horseshoe fire pit with the rocks. And that way the uh, heat will reflect back at me while I'm eating. But uh, fire's going real good right now, and I'm about to sit down and have a meal. Good morning, day two. Waking up to uh, temperatures in the mid 30s, but the sun's coming out, so it's gonna go ahead and uh, take the chill out of the air. It rained last night. Got moisture on the tent. And uh, a little frost over here on the opposite side of the tent. And it should burn off here pretty soon. Sun's up, and I'm going to go ahead and start a little fire and have some chow. Just started the fire a little bit ago and uh, have me some uh, breakfast, then some breakfast skillet, pretty good. Um, I'm going ahead and uh, let my gear dry out here. It was cold last night, got down in the mid 30s, there was frost on my tent. Uh, it did rain last night, but I stayed warm inside my tent. Um, let my gear dry out. I'm going to charge up some of my uh, my electronics here, and then I'm going to hit the trail uh, with a lighter pack. I'm going to leave my base camp up here, and I'm going to go ahead and check out the area and see if maybe there's another base camp and just kind of uh, explore the area a little bit here. So uh, hope you follow along. I'm going to go ahead and have my breakfast here and then hit the trail. I'm heading out of base camp to do a little exploration. I'll mark her up ahead. Heading down from a mountaintop back towards the trail. Nice, li nice little uh, panoramic view of the uh, area. Taking a little break, just filtered some water, gonna drink it and I'm on my way back to the base camp. Heading back to my base camp about a quarter mile out. Got a trail marker there and trail is this way.
a good thing. One of the best parts of the day is a campfire in the evening. You gotta love it. And there's a quarter moon up. You know, being out here in the woods at nighttime brings out a lot of emotions in an individual. Brings out fear, brings out loneliness, brings out happiness. I think there's nothing better than being in a wilderness area at nighttime and having a fire and able to reflect back on your past, present, and future. But there's something here about a wilderness area that also brings out a little fear. It's the darkness around you. It's the not knowing what's out here. I think if you come with the mindset uh, that you're prepared, I think you'll be fine and you'll enjoy it. You'll be definitely seeing a lot more videos on my YouTube channel, The American Backpacker. When I get done with this trip here in the Gila's, I'll be planning my next one. Good morning, day three of my backpacking trip, and it rained last night quite a bit. Temps got down to about uh, 36 degrees, and it's probably uh, 49 degrees right now. You can see all the uh, moisture on the tent. It is uh, kind of a cloudy day today. Sun's trying to break through there. And I'm gonna have some chow and see if I can start a fire. All right, just starting my, just starting my morning fire for day three. Rained a lot last night, so the branches were wet. So I went around and found some dry ones and looks like it's starting to take off. Day three of my backpacking trip here in the Gila's and uh, rained all last night and rained this morning. Rain just moved out, sun's coming up, but I see some clouds up in the north that are probably going to be coming in, probably get some more rain. So today I'm going to stay in base camp and uh, work on my gear, get everything dried out. Hopefully the sun stays out long enough we can dry out my tent and uh, work on a few repairs. Got a fire going over there and I'm um, gonna let that burn all day. All right, we got a storm moving in. And what I did is I gathered some firewood here and I'm gonna cover it up with a uh, poncho. So when a storm passes by, I'll be able to have some dry firewood. Well, I'm here in my tent and uh, just started raining and got the wood covered up as you saw and uh, just going to take a little nap until this passes by. Hopefully we won't be here too long. But it's been like this all day today, on and off rain. So just been in base camp and uh, taking care of a few things and uh, going to take a nap and I'll see you when I get up. Good morning. Day four of my backpacking trip and uh, I was awakened by some noise outside. It's 2.35 in the morning and it's cold. And I want to show you on my watch what the uh, temperature is outside.
Good morning. Day four of my trip here into the Gila's. And today is a gorgeous day. Blue skies yesterday, rain on and off all day. Today, different story. Just woke up and I'm letting my uh, tent dry out. I'm gonna pack up and move to another location. Charging up some uh, equipment and let this tent dry out. Gonna have some chow. Breakfast, day four of my trip here in the hills. Biscuits and gravy, excellent. Camp is broken down and I'm heading out. On the trail heading back, getting a little closer to uh, Pueblo. And then I said the base camp before there, before that. Um, I've been in the valley most of this trip. Um, beautiful area, uh, a lot of woods. Ponderosa pine and various other types of woods. And you can see I'm crossing the little creek over here. It's a nice view from here. I'm uh, in Bear Canyon, looking up here from the creek bed here in the valley. Unfortunately, this one has fallen out of its place. I'll put it back on the ground like it should be, but this is something you that you should be looking for when you're on a trail. They usually have the uh, mileage, the trail name or number, and the direction. I'll put this back where it was. Just had a little conversation with Jerry and uh, heading up the trail to uh, get with his uh, cattle. He just uh, heard it up there. Stopped, just stopped to get some water here from the uh, creek and I met up with uh, Jerry as you saw in the earlier video uh, and uh, spoke with him, took some pictures. Gonna get ready to uh, put the pack back on and head toward, toward uh, Tig Canyon, I think it's pronounced, Tig Canyon. And Jerry, if you're watching, thanks for your hospitality. Appreciate you stopping and taking the pictures. You're a good man. Oh. Some strong waters wash these logs down over here. Looks like a dam. I'm sure when it floods in this canyon, it floods. Come across this uh, rock wall with these uh, indentations in them. Looks like either an animal or maybe somebody has stayed in them. Interesting. I just made it into uh, my second base camp. It's going to be my fourth night out here in the Gila's. And then tomorrow I'm heading back to the uh, trailhead and heading back to Albuquerque for a couple of days to clean up and get ready to fly out on Saturday, but Here's my base camp got the water hung up there tent and uh, My gear right there 
I don't think there's going to be any rain tonight, but uh, I'll be ready. Good morning. It's about 6.30 and you can see the temperature. It's about 30.9 degrees. Um, and uh, it's a cold morning. But uh, sleeping bag tent and air mattress um, kept me warm last night so I'm gonna go ahead and have me some uh, something to eat here some breakfast pack up the tent and be on the trail by um, I don't know 8 8 30 a little less than two miles out from the trailhead so it's gonna be a nice morning Day five, woke up to a uh, chilly morning, stayed warm in the tent, and I'm on the trail and heading back to uh, the trailhead. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day today. Another uh, dried up river creek bed. Some large boulders here. Boy, when the water's flowing here, look out. Well, I'm heading back into the trailhead. I'm not that far away from it, but it's been a great trip. Four nights, five days here in the Gila. Uh, experienced cold weather, rain, everything. I was in the uh, valley a lot but uh had a great time and uh you know talking to uh jerry yesterday i saw him on the trail um gila manages this area but sounds like it was probably the blue range primitive when you look at a map it does get a little confusing because it has the gilas the apache and uh the blue range Hold on. So, uh, either way, great trip, beautiful day, weather's supposed to get lousy tomorrow, so I guess I'm coming back in at a good time. <laughs> 